Hi folks, welcome to a quick video introduction to COM5720 Social Media Theory and Practice. In this course, we're going to critically investigate social media as a historically situated technology, a communicative form, and a professional tool. This is a very reading intensive course. We're going to cover a lot of ground, reading both deeply within the fields of media, communication, and cultural studies, and widely by branching into philosophy, anthropology, sociology, and science and technology studies. It should be a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to working with all of you. So let me tell you what we're going to be doing in this video lecture. I'll start by briefly introducing myself. Next, I'll tell you about the resources that you'll need to successfully complete this course, and then I'll end by highlighting the work that you're going to have to do throughout the semester. This is going to take up the bulk of the video's time allotment. My name is Dr. Matthew Hale. I have a PhD from the Department of Communication and Culture at Indiana University, and I study social media, popular culture, and the politics of technology. My pronouns are he, him, his. If you would like me to call you something other than what is listed on the official roster on D2L or in One Stop, which is most likely your legal name, just send me an email with any name or pronoun preferences, or frankly anything else you might need. Just shoot me an email and we can talk. Speaking of that, office hours. This year I will be holding my office hours entirely online. That means we can set up times to chat, text, call, or even speak over Zoom. So basically I'm available, contact me, and we'll figure out a time and then a platform. Now with regard to resources, all of the text for this course are available for free via D2L, so there are no expenses there. You will also need access to some means of recording video and audio content. This doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't a production class. So you'll need a smartphone or a webcam. You could certainly use a camcorder or a DSLR, but a smartphone should suffice for our purposes. You'll also need access to PowerPoint, Keynote, or some sort of presentation software, a YouTube account, and potentially you might also download and explore a free software called OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software. There's also Streamlabs OBS, and this is available for both Windows and Mac. In-depth instructions for each of them are located under the Assignment Instruction Sheets tab on D2L. Likewise, I'll be posting video walkthroughs for some of the more involved or complicated assignments, but for now, let me just preview the work you're going to be doing. First up are the weekly reading notes. These should be an easy freebie assignment. Consume the assigned readings or multimedia content, take notes, and upload said notes onto D2L via the appropriate Dropbox by 11.59pm on Sundays. In total, you'll need to submit five sets of these notes. We have eight weeks of reading, so that gives you a bit of a freebie or days off. Be strategic with those opportunities. Next up, you'll be assigned a theory-dense article for the second week of class. That is to say, from October 26th through November 1st. Read it, take extensive notes, might as well turn those in for the weekly reading notes, and then after that, you're going to produce an explainer-style video, much like the one you're currently watching. This is going to unpack and explain your assigned article for week number two, our most theory-focused week and densest reading. After that, you'll have another explainer-style video to make a critical history of a technology, device, or application. This brings us to the EX, or extra, or supplementary materials. As you'll see on the course calendar in just a second, nearly every single week has a section designated EX. This indicates that there are recommended or advanced materials that correspond to, supplement, augment, or complicate the assigned materials for a given week. You'll need to read, listen to, or watch two EX materials and create either a written or video summary of that piece of content. You get to choose what it is that you pick and summarize. Lastly, you'll submit a final research project. You can choose either to produce a traditional text-based research paper, a photo essay, or a video essay. It's entirely up to you. We'll consult with one another and figure out what you think would best serve your ideas and your career goals. But the point is, there's flexibility in this final assignment. In all, you're going to read a lot, you'll write some notes and a few papers, and produce at least two pieces of original video content. This is a challenging semester, and if you're anything like me, you're already exhausted from the first eight weeks of the semester. It has been utterly brutal. So that's it for all of the required assignments. Do these and you'll complete the course. Additionally, I might, and I'm not certain if I'm going to do this, I might host one or two Zoom meetings with everyone throughout the eight weeks that we're together. These are entirely optional. My thinking is that it'll allow us to gather in a digital space at the same time to talk, ask questions, debate, or just to check in with one another. Okay, before we wrap up here, I want to give you a quick preview of the course calendar. This is available under the Syllabus tab on D2L. You should check this out multiple times every single week. It will keep us on schedule and organized. 
I'm recording this video lecture just a few days before our course officially begins, so bear in mind that the final syllabus and course calendar might look ever so slightly different in terms of aesthetics, but more or less the course content should be the same that you see here in this video. We're going to be discussing a wide range of topics from platform architecture and engagement structures to digital communities and circulation, so that's a quick overview of the course content and the calendar. Give it a look there. Again, don't freak out about week number two. You're only going to be reading a single article that is assigned to you. You don't have to read every single one of those. I think it's about 20 articles. I look forward to working with each of you, and I want to let you know in advance that I appreciate all of your hard work and time. Take care. Bye.